I've just done half of my face. Excuse my face because obviously it's only half done. Um, today we are going to do a show that glow Christmas makeup look based with the colours green and gold. So I'm just going to sort out my foundation. Um, I've just done a quick little video on my favourite foundation which is this beautiful matte clear... Matte matte clay clarifying foundation absolutely love the stuff it does wonders for my skin and it helps get rid of my spots so so i'm just going to rub this in with my fingers just to get it in as quick as possible normally i would use a sponge i always recommend using a sponge not a brush um applying the foundation onto your skin with a brush absolutely fine but to actually blend it in Obviously, because it's me, I will use my fingers just because it's quick and easier and I want to get this makeup look done so you guys can copy and try it out yourself. And not only that, I have got somewhere to be. But yes, make sure you use a beauty blender. They are literally lifesavers. And they give you such a better finish than fingers and brushes. But obviously, it's up to everyone else what they choose to use me personally i always always use a sponge far from when i'm trying to do it really quick which is a guilty conscience right there so i'm just gonna do my eyebrows and then i will be right back so eyebrows are done i'm happy with how they look so i am going to show you how to do the green and gold makeup look first up i'm using my two body shop palettes these are the ones that are in stock so we have painting color we are going to be using the green and also an own your naturals i will be slightly cheeky and i will be adding extra layers of this to just enhance it so i'm going to show you how to apply it and then i will add the color and show you what it looks like after a second coat and blending it so first off you need matte clay concealer again i'm just using my fingers it's a really good base because it's sticky and it's gonna cling to that beautiful eyeshadow colors and you want the pigment to pop so Make sure you've got a decent amount so that you can feel it on your lid, but it's not stupid. So you're not caking it to the point where it's creasing when you open your and close your eyes. Okay, so I'm happy with how sticky my eyes are. Oh, okay, so first off, I'm going to do the green. The green is going to be uh, applied to the outer area and the gold will be on the inner. So just to get started, I'm going to use this beautiful mermaid brush just because i need to clean some of my other brushes i'm just going to use the green color this is from the painting color palette i'm just going to apply it ever so slightly around the edge So you want to do it to roughly about halfway of your eyelid. So really thick, a lot of product towards the outer corner that I'm doing now. Just make sure you get a really good decent blob there. And then over the top of your lid. So not actually on the lid, just above. You should be able to see a crease when you open your eye so you can follow the line. Don't worry if you get it on the lid because you can always go over it with a bit of concealer so you block that out. Okay, so I think I'm happy with how that is at the moment. I'm just going to do a quick buff. Because who doesn't love a good buff? And we're going to buff it out. Okay. 
okay quite like how that one's turned out remember you are blending you are not trying to literally draw a painting you are trying to blend that means you do it soft okay the softer you do it the better because the softer you do it the less color that you've got to take off i have now done i'm quite happy with that i'm going to add another layer of green to it and then i will be back to show you what it looks like when i have finished and i will tell you how many layers i've done okay so it's took me two two layers really decent the second layer i end up adding a little bit of water to the brush and then dabbing it on really thick and then blending it really really softly so to add to that we are then going in with the gold so the gold i want to really block that in so i'm gonna get a brush i do believe that is a clean one holy crap okay so we're gonna get in with the gold this is from own your naturals and i'm just gonna dab that on right onto the lid happy with that actually that looks really nice and then into the corner and then do the same on this side And then swoop. See now on the lid, you want to be feeling like you are painting a canvas. On the outer, when you're blending, you don't want to feel like you're painting a canvas. You want to feel like you are literally trying to tickle a fairy, like with a feather or something. That is literally what you want to do, is tickle a fairy when you're blending. But you want to paint a picture when you yeah when you're applying so I'm just adding gold to the underneath as much as I love adding colour to the under of my eye it drives me insane because I always end up with eyeshadow in my eyeball for at least 20 minutes after. And then all I keep thinking is, next time I'm not going to do it. But I always do. I've got my eye. Told you. All the way up. Blend it into the corner. And that side. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. I'm just going to add a little bit of highlight. So I'm just going to use this, which is a really nice sparkly tone. I'm just going to use this to the top of just under my brow. Just so it gives it that lift ever so slightly. Now, I am going to use something that isn't body sharp. Um, just because I haven't got the freaking eyeliner that I want from body shop here. It's uh, currently still in the shop. So I'm just going to add a flick. Oh, what's going off there? I always try to concentrate too hard when I'm doing this. I think I'm using the wrong one. Have 
have I got another eyeliner? I cannot find. Oh, it's there, look. I did, I used the wrong one. For God's sake. Now I'm going to try and do it again. There we go. So I'm just going to try and do a really soft flick. I don't want to do it too major. So try and line. Pretty much. It's always about practice when it comes to eyeliner. I was absolutely shocking when I first started trying to train as a makeup artist. All I kept looking at the eyeliner sections and I was like, I'm not going to be able to do that. No chance am I going to be able to do eyeliner. No chance. And now look, it's not that hard once you get used to it. You just got to keep practicing. As soon as you finish practicing, keep going, keep going, keep going. And as soon as you're done, you'll get there. So, I'm just going to apply a bit of mascara and then I will be back. So, I have done my lashes, I've done my contour. I'm just going to add the finishing touch, which is my number one favourite at the moment, the hot chocolate lip juicer. So not only does it tint, but it also moisturises. Now I don't need too much tint, I just need a little so my lips actually look alive rather than half dead. I'm going to show you the proper full result under natural light and I'll be back in a minute. Ignore the background, it's very messy and I'm currently in the stages of cleaning it up. But this is the finished look. I'm really, really pleased with how it's come out. It's come out perfect. Really nice smoky green where it's darker there and then you buff out. The gold, it just looks so subtle and it really pops the green. The lip juicer makes my lip look really nice and smooth and soft and it just looks really natural. And the contour obviously on point eyebrows i am so freaking happy i found my eyebrow do a palette from body shop so i am back on the eyebrow game and yeah i'm just really happy with how this turned out so hashtag show that glow i hope you enjoyed the green and gold uh, christmas look let me know what you think subscribe to my youtube if you are watching please give it a thumbs up pop a comment below if you would like to see anything else any sort of colors or any sort of theme i can go for like how i've done a tartan one um but yeah just even if you want to send me a message and just say oh try doing that and if even if it's wacky i will do it just send me a little photo send me a little comment give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think thank you very much and as always Stay positive.